Oh no, he's laying down in his poop. No. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's just... Yep, that's, that's a mood. Hey guys, it's Ace Simulation here, and welcome back to the channel today. We are here back in A Simulation Acres with Planet Zoo. And now, I have done quite a lot since we have left off the third episode, so I have built out and kind of mapped the grid system of our next upcoming enclosures. We will not be doing all these today in this episode, we are just going to slowly add and yeah, it's going to be awesome, so if you guys are excited, please hit that like button and definitely subscribe and turn the notifications on so that we can continue this journey into our zoo. But anyway, I'm going to press play here. Welcome back. Um, we are expanding and expanding and expanding, and you can see our money's kind of going up and down, and I'm ready to add a new animal. So we only so far have three. We added our flamingos last time. We have jaguars here. And then, of course, we have our warthogs in here. We need something um, that's going to go in here. Very small, and it's going to be pretty awesome, I'm thinking. Ooh, tickets are underpriced. Okay, we can add, we can add some uh, money to there. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of adding a walkthrough exhibit here. So doing tortoises. I know that's pretty popular with the guests. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll kind of just show you guys where we're going to be putting exhibits. So we're going to have a big one here. We're going to have a big one here. And then the staff area over here. This is going to be a plaza with more food um, so that people can come on over here. Or is our tickets still underpriced? No, they look good. Okay. And then we're going to have another one here, which is the same size as these two. And then we have a big one here. We're going to have a big one here, a big one here. So we are ready to add a bunch of different um, animals. And I'm super duper excited. All right. So we need to get underway. Um, left inspector has our report. We're doing pretty well. Um, Habitat 3, which we need to name still, is not as good education's eh, but overall we have four-star inspector report. Let's quickly, before I forget, name this to Flamingo Habitat. Perfect. I hope I spelled everything correctly. You never know these days. All right, there we go. Flamingo Habitat. Awesome. Ooh, we're about to have offspring. <gasps> Yay. Oh, here we go. Baby piggies. Let's go. Ah, oh my goodness. We have one baby piggy. Are we just getting one? Oh, we got two baby piggies. Do we have three? Give us three. Three! <gasps> Whoa, we have an albino one. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, four. Holy cow, did she just have four? <gasps> oh my goodness, we have four. And we have a gold albino baby piggy. Let's take a look. Let's go in. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hello, little baby piggy. Now, we'll probably keep him in storage, so uh, releasing albino animals to the wild is actually not that good because albino animals are more often sought out by predators and more often, um, what's the term? They're more often, um, oh my goodness, give me a second here, abandoned, abandoned because of their color. Those, they look different. We have breed habitat species. Let's claim a ward. I've also, if you guys have seen, I've put up a bunch of conservation education around the zoo. So I have added quite a lot. Um, it's literally everywhere because I want our education to be awesome. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to add tortoises to this enclosure. So let's go into animal trading. We're going to not do you. There are two tortoises. There's the Aldabra giant tortoise and then the Galapagos, I believe. Yeah. So we're going to filter. Let's see what we got here. We're going to, um, no, I don't care about the gender. I want the, I want the appeal. So looks like the Aldabra has the highest appeal for the males, but it looks like we only have Galapagos, uh, female. So we're going to get this female, they live for a really long time. Um, this, the genes aren't the best here, but the longevity's good. And then, so that's a Galapagos, so we need a male. 
that has good genes. And you know what? I'm going to go for you. Oh, that's an Aldabra. No. I wonder. I don't know if they can coexist. I should have looked at that. I mean, he's probably the best overall. We're going to have some very small babies. Um, Let's get rid of the Aldabra. Right, I'm thinking of just getting him, honestly, because he's overall pretty good around here. The size gene. We're going to have very small babies. Oh, I can't believe I bought an Aldabra. It's fine, though, because we have quite a lot of money. Um, and so let me see. You, sir, you're very good. But I'm going to quick trade you for 633. All right. So let's get our little Galapagos in here. Actually, I should probably add this enclosure quickly to a work zone because, yeah. So let's add this to the entrance. You are part of the entrance zone now. And let's move them in. Yay, we have a tortoise. Woo! And we're getting our other tortoise. Look at them. They are beautiful. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Ooh, the girl, the girl is way bigger than the boy. Um, we have Eduardo here and Esmeralda. Ooh, I really like those names. So overall, they're honestly pretty happy. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of some long grass and put some sand in. Let me check the water really quickly. Where is our water at there? Ah, uh, we don't have any water thing, so I'm going to add that. I don't know if these actually, I think they do have negative effect on the animals. Um, so we have to be careful of that. So I'm going to put this one a little bit further away. So we need a water treatment and I'm going to add that to the work zone. I'm going to be very organized. I've never been or this organized, but I'm ready. Awesome. So we've added that to the work zone. So now we can give them a little bit of water. So let's pause and I'm going to quickly do up their enclosure. All right, guys. So I have done up their little enclosure. Um, I didn't want to show it on camera because I know that doing enclosures can be kind of boring as well as I tend to not to want to talk as much when I'm doing enclosures just because I'm focusing so much. I'm making it look good. Ooh, do we have one-way glass? <gasps> Wait, I don't think so. I think we need one more. Yeah, we need one more, but we are so close to getting one-way glass. Tickets are underpriced, so let's move that up to 10, and we'll move that up to 8. Perfect. Okay, so, and we, do we have this? No, it just was showing that. Awesome. So, we have our tortoises here. I was going to originally do a walkthrough, but I don't think so. Um, let's do, we should probably do some education really quickly. Um, yeah, let's do some boards and stuff. Let me switch this around. We want to educate people on our little tortoise or tortoise. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Let's see. They're not going to have the best of views from everywhere. They're all over here, which I think will probably be the best view. The enclosure is kind of a weird shape, um, but that's totally fine. I think it looks good. Um, let me just do so many of these. We'll put like one speaker there, one speaker there, and we'll do one speaker there so we can make them look large. And then let me grab one of my, um, donation cans. Let's duplicate that, put it all around. All right, guys, I just took care of some maintenance stuff as well as added a bunch of staff members and did a bunch of stuff. So everything looks good. Let me just turn this educational guy on here. I have set up education and donation bins and we are looking good. We do um, research center has some cues. I'm going to add a research center over here. Let's go to staff facilities. Uh, research center small and there we go and let me quickly add mr. Um, oh my goodness mr. Uh, oh my goodness <laughs> mr. research center to our entrance zone here we are mr. research center awesome and I'm also going to add him to the middle area as well so that we can research there 
Perfect. All right, so we, um, we're doing some vet research here. I've been researching all the animals and trying to get some stuff. Let's see what we unlocked there for the flamingos because we do need enrichment for them, and specifically food enrichment. So hopefully we unlock something there. Where is it? Greater flamingo. I don't see anything, um, which is unfortunate. But yeah, we got our little tortoises here. They're pretty popular. There are quite a lot of people over here, and we've already gotten some pretty hefty donations. So everybody's loving these little tortoises. Look at them. They're so cute. Look at all the people like, ooh, ah, there's a tortoise, and he's just moving so slowly. I feel bad. I hope that they don't get stressed. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I don't think they get stressed because animal, you can walk through them. Um, through the exhibit, so I don't think they would get stressed very easily, so I think they're good Let me call a keeper to this so we can have some food for them But yeah, we have our cutest awesomest little zoo here. This is so perfect. So I Don't know what I want to do in this the rest of this part. I think we're gonna add a big animal now I'm debating because from my other zoo. I have cheetahs here from my other zoo. Now, I don't know if it would be fair for me to use cheetahs in this zoo, um, but I do have quite a lot of conservation points. So I was thinking if I buy, if I buy one cheetah and use a cheetah from here, I feel like that would be fair um, because I don't know, I just feel like that would be kind of fair. And like, this is like a franchise off of my other zoo. So let's just quickly do any species and let's do, let's get rid of cash and let's do conservation and let's see what we can get. Um, I'm probably going to have to reset the filter and then do conservation. Perfect. All right. So we're not going to be able to do the tens of thousands. So let's actually do price up from down. Ooh, there's some Springbok. Um, let's see what we want. I'm wondering if I could get, I don't think I could get it an African elephant, but I really want elephants, like, really, really badly. So let's filter. Um, ooh, actually, we could probably afford one. Oh, snap, we could actually, how long do they live? Let me look really quickly. 65 years. Oh, snap, we could actually, I mean, we couldn't get, like, a really good one. Oh, guys, can we get African elephants? Um, I'm going to adopt him, and I'm going to adopt her. <gasps> oh my god, did we just get... Oh. <laughs> Stop, we did. <gasps> oh my goodness, and we could probably put them... I'd probably put them right here. VIP guest has arrived, say hello. We want to build up some more conservation points. Um, they're not going to be the happiest elephants, because elephants do like a bigger group. Um, do we want to do them... Do we want to do them here or here? Probably here. This is going to be a pretty large enclosure. So I'm going to build the elephant enclosure and I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I have finished up our elephant enclosure here. They are pretty happy, obviously. Not exactly with the social group, but we will keep in uh, contact with our animal trading page and try to get as many conservation points as we can so that we can get another elephant for them. But overall... They're pretty happy. We do need more enrichment as well. We are researching that as we speak. But yeah, oh my goodness, I can't believe we were able to afford elephants. That is pretty insane. So I'm pretty ecstatic about this. Also, while I was building, we finally, finally, finally have one-way glass, as y'all can see back there. So this is pretty exciting. Yes, 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 yes. So we have our beautiful elephants. Hopefully they'll be able to have babies soon. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Let's just, yep, we're gonna put you there. Are you on the ground? Yeah. All right, no floating African daisies, please. So we're gonna have people start to make their way this way. And now comes the fun part of education, ugh, and putting benches up and putting everything up. We also have our New World theme, so I'm gonna start to add some New World stuff to the enclosures, so. This should be exciting. I'm going to put one, oop, not there. Let's put a bench this way because we are going to have an animal facing that way. We're also, we probably should get our donation bins, our beautifully colored 
donation bins that I spent forever choosing the colors of. We're just going to plop those all around the enclosure because we want to get that money. They have easily become our most popular animal um, in the zoo so far. So if you guys can see, if you go into your zoo and, oop, our, ah, how are you stressed? I literally have one, hold on. Um, if you go, let me just complete this vet research really quickly, thank you. If you go into, oh my goodness, our zoo, our most appealing animal has already become the elephant because everyone's like, whoa, the elephant, amazing. All right, why are you stressed? It's all one-way glass. So there should be no reason why you're stressed. Maybe that was just a glitch because you guys can't, nobody can see you. Vet research complete. African elephants, please. Now, let's quickly hop into our um, our exhibits here, and I want to give them some of that. And how are we doing here? Can we do our second layout? We can. Let's do a mid-basking light. Make our exhibit animals the happiest they can be. Also, I think our tortoise is pregnant. Let me see. Who's the girl? You're the girl. You are? Oh my goodness, you're due in February. Yay! My birthday's in February, so that would be pretty awesome if we had a baby in February. But yes, oh my goodness, we have our elephants. Let's get that education going. Look at the beautiful landscape and the sunset. And no negative impact yet. Okay, perfect. So, now we can turn on all of our screens to our African elephant. Let's get all these education boards going. We want to educate the people and make sure everyone knows about African elephants and why they're endangered and why poaching affects them and all different types of stuff because that's very important to know. That's one thing I really, really, really love about this game is that there's a lot of focus on conservation and endangered species and all the stuff that comes with the endangered, um, with like hunting and endangered world and stuff. Ooh, Esmeralda's about to give birth. Oh my goodness. Let's speed up time here a little bit because tortoises move so slowly. I'm ready. Girl, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, <gasps> yay, a baby. We got one. Do we got two? Oh, we got two. Oh, Consasia and Raphael. Um, and we got three. Oh my goodness. And Remini Remedidos? Rem Remedios, I think. Ooh, and our Diamondback Snake is about to give birth. We have um, conservation rating of three stars. Look at that. Amazing. Let's see. Um, let's call a keeper to the habitat here. We need some food. Let me check. I need to do some enrichment type stuff. So let's see. This is our Galapagos tortoises. How we doing on enrichment? We have a dog ball, which is exciting. I'll put that over by the people. Mechanical research is done. Perfect, we're getting our food shops. Awesome, so we have, our Galapagos turtles are pretty awesome. There are over a thousand guests in the zoo. Let me call a mechanic here and let's take a look and see if we got anything new for the warthogs. They're pretty good in the warthogs because we have so much for them. Um, but let's see if we can add anything else. We can add a little box there. Um, what else do we have here? We have a small barrel roll feeder. Um, oop, and our jaguars have matured. Pause. Um, let me move you into the trade center. Actually, should we release you into the wild? Yeah, that's a lot of conservation points. So we have been traded out of the zoo. That's awesome. I believe we had two babies. Um, so let's call a keeper there. How are we doing? Let's call a mechanic. And let's see how we're doing on our enrichment. Oh, there's so much to do with the animals. And you have to make sure you have all that enrichment. And they also get bored of enrichment really easily so you have to be careful of that as well we got overcrowding what's going on where's our fight there it is all right let's see what's going <laughs> they're not very happy are they um we have a girl here and a man here um you're 3.2 you're eight 
So you are the one we're getting rid of. So 357, that's a lot of conservation points. Um, let's actually take a look into our animal trading and see if there's any elephants that we can get. Ooh, there's a female, that would be perfect. She's not the best, but I'm just gonna get her. Ooh, wait, this one might be better, hold on. No, you're better. Let me get this female. Let's move her into here, then they'll be much happier there. Perfect, so we have now a new elephant coming into the zoo. Their social group should be way better and way happier. Let's also move on to the flamingos. For the enrichment, let's go species. They are the greater flamingo. Nothing yet. I think we actually stopped their research. Um, Common warthog is about to mature. Ooh, so we're going to get quite a lot of conservation points. How are we doing here? Social groups, too few adults. That's fine for now. And let's take a look. I don't know if we've unlocked anything for our elephants yet, but we will see. Oh, we have like the little, we have the little sprinkler thing. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, so I have added a bunch of education and it is our common warthogs who are about to mature, so... Let's go in here. You have matured. Let's send you to the storage center. Awesome. Our frogs have just had offspring. And how are we doing? Our has matured. Pause. Let's send you to the trade center. And yeah, we're just going to wait for these babies to mature in here because we need to have them let's you are you have matured and you have matured but i don't see that you've matured yet of course there's a ton of stuff going on why is everyone running hmm i don't know let's just make sure the barriers look good there and it says our piggies have matured but i don't see it yet um, let's send you to the Trade Center, and let's send you to the Trade Center. Alright, let's go into the Trade Center here. We have our common warthogs. They're all gold. Wow. I'm gonna keep the albino one, though, and I'm releasing these guys to the wild, and then we'll get him a female. So, they're not super, super good, but we're going to... It's not like a lot of money to release them into the wild, but I just want to do that because I find that that is better. Um, and also, warthogs don't cost that much anyway, so you can't really get much of them. So let's just sell all our common warthogs except for the albino one. There we go. We've released them all into the wild, and we've gotten an achievement releasing one common warthog to the wild. Awesome. And so how are we doing over here, guys? Layout's good, layout's good, social health isn't that good. Ah, we have, we need to do some stuff here with our exhibit animals, so let's go to the zoo. Exhibit animals, they do a lot of, they get a lot of um, breeding and stuff like that, so you have to be really careful because you can all of a sudden have like 600 of them, like this, this is a lot. Um, so we're going to get rid of all the ones that say captive birth. Uh, we're going to add those to the trade center. And then for our diamondbacks, we're also going to do the same thing. So this one, we're going to move to our trade center. And we're going to go to exhibit trading, trade center. We're going to select them all and quick trade for 2100 You do make quite a lot of money off of exhibit animals, so that's something to notice. Um, if you're starting out um, and you just have like one exhibit animal or two exhibit animals or whatever. Um, how are our little elephants doing over here? They need enrichment. How's our research going here we are researching them it just takes a while because elephants are so amazing um let's see how we're doing here we probably can do a layout too here yeah let's do tropical plant a that one looks pretty perfect all right so we just need enrichment for our animals oh my goodness he look at them oh my goodness just chilling in the mud bath that is a beautiful picture oh my goodness i love that Oh, I love it. And I love how they also get muddy and, like, they also look wet when it rains. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, no. Let's call a keeper. Um, and let's actually take a look at our staff here. 
I might just hire a bunch of keepers. I feel like I should. So I feel like I should have one per exhibit. So we have six. So let's do that. And we're gonna go to animal, or not animal training. We're gonna go to zoo. We're gonna go to work zones. Oh my goodness, staff, work zone. You can go to the middle and you can go to the entrance. I want like one keeper per. We're also doing really well on money right now. So we don't have to worry fully about that. They now, do they have food? Yeah, they do. Awesome. So the keeper has gotten that. Vet research complete. Uh, do we have African elephant? No, just the tortoise. Oh my goodness, I just want to do that. Habitat 4. That's our tortoise. T tortoise? Exhibit? Is that how you spell tortoise? Probably not. Let's take a look. T-O-R. Oh no, I spelled it right. Okay, I see you. I see you. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, like look at this um, tortoise here. Uh, they are wanting, running through the water and they are actually wet. So that is a really awesome thing. They want some species food enrichment. I believe we've just unlocked quite a few things. So let's go into here. Let's go to species. We need our Galapagos turtle here. Uh, we have a frozen block of fruit there for you. Um, I believe we've done just about everything else. Yeah, but that will make them significantly more happy. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here just because we do, we have done quite a lot and I don't want it to be too, too, too long. But anyway, guys, look at our, look at our man there with his ladies. But yeah, guys, if you guys are super excited for the next part of this episode, um, please hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get updated for the next episode. Um, my schedule right now, I'm trying to finalize it. Um, we do have three series on the channel we're doing planet zoo oh he's taking a poop amazing uh we have planet zoo we have the 100 baby challenge and then we have our legacy challenge and then of course i do like little sims challenge videos oh no he's laying down in his poop no no oh 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 that's just yep that's that's a mood um so i'm trying to do probably like one episode a week for this um oh he's sleeping oh stop it he's sleeping in his poop honey no it's okay um but yeah i'm trying to do like one episode a week but if people want more i'm trying to post six days a week so if i do six days a week i believe i would probably post twice a week which would be pretty good so um two of edith two uh two of the hunter baby challenge and two of planet zoo i think that's what i want to do um, I can only record on weekends though, um, now that I have a nine to five job. So sometimes it's a little hard for me to post or have recorded a lot of Planet Zoo. Um, but yeah, I will be finalizing my schedule in the next week or two guys. Um, but anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. Let's go over to one of our girls here. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, as, like I said, if you guys are excited, hit that like button and I will see y'all next time. Bye.